Welcome back to Newswire. There was a change of command in Ottawa today as General Walt Natinchik handed over control of the Canadian forces to General Thomas Lawson. At a special ceremony, the Canadian Forces Ensign was transferred from Natinchik to Lawson, officially making him the Chief of Defence Staff. Lawson comes from the Air Force. He was most recently the Deputy Commander of NORAD. Prime Minister Stephen Harper welcomed Lawson with praise for his years of service. I have no doubt you will rise to these challenges and more. From your early days as a starfighter pilot in Germany, your career has been marked by a readiness to step up to the plate and provide leadership no matter how difficult or how unexpected the circumstances. And in the presence of your colleagues, General Lawson, I congratulate you and I thank you for your willingness to assume command. With more now on today's change in command, Daniel Prusilidis joins us live in Ottawa. So Daniel, how does General Tom Lawson describe his job as Chief of Defence Staff now? Well, maybe it's because he's a pilot, but he seems to take kind of the bird's eye view of his job as CDS, Chief of Defense Staff. As you'll hear in this clip, he names really several priorities. I dedicate myself in full view of the responsibilities of command to accepting your confidence today. I dedicate myself to the care and well-being of the members of the Canadian Armed Forces I dedicate myself to providing the highest quality military advice that you will seek. And I dedicate myself and the Canadian Forces team to the careful maintenance of the many military capabilities that will be required to defend our great nation. So really that is the, the high level view of his job, caring for the soldiers, not just uh, for their daily needs, but also for the needs sometimes that they have when they come back from missions abroad, maintaining those military capabilities that have been upgraded uh, in the past, especially over the last 10 years and will be upgraded over the next uh, several years as well. Uh, some of the issues that he chose to highlight during his speech today. And Daniel, what about his predecessor, General Walt Natinchik? Did he have any parting words? Yeah, he did, actually. Uh, he, he, you know, he really thanked all of the members of the military. Uh, he spent a lot of time actually giving thanks. All, he praised his military bosses as, his, as well as his political bosses, uh, for example. And then Natinchik, in his typical style, made a graceful exit. My duties complete. The nation's secure. And it's time to hand over my responsibilities to a great officer. Tom, to you, Kelly, and family, thank you for your continuing service to Canada. The men and women of the Canadian Forces need your leadership, your experience, and your compassion. I trust you're going to wear your own boots, and I have every confidence you're going to fill them real well. So it was a pretty touching speech by General Natenchik. He also, in a very touching moment, uh, paid tribute to his wife during that speech. You saw just at the start of that clip uh, three young people. Those are three members of the military in the three branches of the military, all Natenchik's children. Uh, and he did also make mention of them in his speech. Yeah, certainly a graceful exit, as you put it, uh, Daniel. But uh, just looking forward now, how will Lawson's job be different from Natinchik's? It, it'll be quite different, actually, because Natinchik was at uh, taking over from General Hillier. He had to see the, the end of the combat mission in Afghanistan, for example, and the beginning of some of the rebuilding of the military, especially in the Air Force and in the Navy. Uh, whereas Lawson's job... Priority number one, and the Prime Minister made mention of this in his speech today, priority number one will be budget constraints. He's really got to find savings in the military. He admits that that's going to be one of his biggest challenges, and that could be the hallmark of the next four years uh, for General Lawson. All right, certainly some uh, big challenges ahead for him. Thank you, Daniel. Anytime. That is Daniel Prusilides reporting live in our Parliamentary Bureau.